Hey beauties, how's it going? Uh, thanks for being here again. So today's video is a request from one of my really sweet subscribers, Caitlin, who, whoa, desk, <laughs> um, who saw this in, it was both in my favorites video, this look, and in my Lancome um, mascara review. I'll link those two videos for you guys down below if you haven't seen them. But it is a super quick, super easy um, look. It was really sweet of you, honey, to say that you liked it. I really appreciate it, so um, I'll recreate it for you here. I have put on uh, most of my face makeup. The one thing I left off is blush, because another one of you sweet ladies, um, Miss Ellen, said you liked the way I applied blush. I'll do that for you here. I'll show you um, what I do. Thank you for saying that, by the way. And um, then we'll move on to the to the eyes and then do some lipstick and it should be quick and easy. Um, the blush that I used in that look and that I'll use again today is the MAC uh, Good Girl Gone Bad, uh, which is the one from the Rihanna collection. It's the dupe that I found for it was Nora's as a Gilda, um, in case you missed out. But this is the way I apply all blush. And the two brushes that I find are incredibly helpful in doing this is my Real Techniques blush brush. And then I use my MAC 167 to blend it all out. And I feel like that gives it a really nice soft finish. So starting with the Real Techniques brush, I just put a little bit on um, sort of the top part of it, smile, and then just apply it right on the apple and then pull back. Um, that's the way I like to apply it. And I usually try not to go, like I'll start out slow or soft and then if I've put my lipstick on and I found that my lipstick is a lot darker or more intense, which is a lot of the time, um, then the rest of my makeup, then I'll intensify it that way. But yeah, that's just the way I put on um, my blush. And again, the same on this other side. And yeah, I know I look like a weirdo smiling, but such it is. So yeah, I concentrate that color, pull back. And then, like I said, so I've got foundation, like primer, foundation, powder, concealer, all that stuff. Blush goes on last. I like it. I like to do contour, highlight, then um, blush. I find that that way my blush really... Um, Sort of pops a little bit more and then I'll take uh, my MAC 167 or any blending brush that you have. It just has to be sort of nice and, and big and fluffy um, and then not too dense. Uh, everything's falling. <laughs> um, not too dense and then just sort of buff everything in and make sure there are no harsh lines. I feel like that's been the tip that has helped me the most with everything with my face makeup with my eye makeup is just you don't ever want any harsh lines. I want everything nice and blended. Okay, the one time you do want a harsh line is when you're doing like a nice flick on your eyeliner, but other than that, no harsh lines. So yeah, that's that. I hope that helps, Ellen. Um, let me know when you've played around with it a little bit, if that works, or if you found other tips that work for you, um, definitely let me know. I'll bring you guys a little bit closer. Before I do that, actually, let me tell you, because you don't need that many things for this eye look. So. Unless I'm doing a look with a lot of color, like a blue or a purple, if I just want a neutral all over the base, I'll start with my primer potion. That's what I'll use to prime. And then the second thing you'll need, other than the primer, obviously, for the eyelids, is a nice white silver, just a really light color for all over the lid. Um, I use something with a little bit of shimmer. So this is my Guerlain um, Rue de Sèvres palette. So I use um, the whitish color from that guy. And then we'll use Max Cranberry or any sort of reddish cranberry color for your outer V. Um, then you're going to want like a dark brownish um, gray powder eyeshadow um, to, to, to line it. And then finally just some mascara. So yeah, those are uh, the products that I'm using. You can use anything you want as long as it's sort of the same kind of color. And yeah, let's bring you guys in and get ourselves started. Okay, so let's make sure we're in focus. Um, I'm starting with my um, Urban Decay Primer Potion for my eyelids. And I think I've mentioned this in a couple other tutorials. Um, but uh, unless I'm doing like a... Okay, let's start over. I don't know why I'm stressed. Tutorials get me stressed. I feel so flattered when you guys say you like um, my tutorials, but I also um, I guess stressed out because I don't think I actually am as talented <laughs> as some of the other amazing girls on here. So, anyways, we prime my eyelids always first. So I put some on the back of my hand and then uh, smooth it in. And so usually I'll use a color, like a blue um, cream 
shadow or green or whatever color I'm using. Um, unless A, I don't have that color as a cream shadow, or B, I am doing a more neutral, like a white or a beige as my all over lid color. And then in that case, I'll just use um, this primer from Urban Decay. But Maybelline, I know, makes some great uh, cream shadows. They're Maybelline color tattoos. So those ones work equally great and aren't as expensive as the Urban Decay ones. So give those guys a try. Now for this eye look, you're going to need two brushes. The ones I use are the MAC 217 and the MAC 239. Really what you need is a big fluffy brush for all over and something a little bit denser, like a shorter little shading brush for that outer corner. So starting with the 217, I'm going to take that light... I lean over to get everything. That light color in this palette, um, this whitish color, and um, this one I find is very powdery. I feel like most light colors are that way, so just make sure you're tapping off your excess and then pressing it on all over the lid and blending out. And then same thing on the other eye. And a nice thing when you're using a, a light color like this, or a flesh tone color, anything that's sort of pretty neutral, is yes, of course you need to blend, but because it's not as harsh of a color, and it's not as contrasting, like I mean when you put a green on, nothing in this area is really that bright green, right? So you have to blend really well to make it look seamless. With a color that's, that's this um, neutral, you don't have to blend as much, right? Like you can, like you see, it's not taking me as long as, as I, it usually does because it's so neutral. So if you want like a quick look, definitely start with a neutral base. It'll just speed up your time so, so, so much. So once we've done that, we're going to take our cranberry shade. Now this is MAC Cranberry, which I love, and we've talked about this before and the story behind this shadow. And again, you're taking it on your flat shader brush. So mine is my 239 by MAC, but I know e.l.f. makes a great $1 one, so go out and get that if um, you don't have the MAC one. And we're going to start on the outer... V. So I like to place it sort of from the top to the bottom, place it, you know, like push it in first, and then blend it out. Um, and with these berry colors, I'll again, like my blush, I'll start slow and then I'll build it up. And I think we've talked about this in, when did I talk about it? I think it's in my um, glasses makeup tutorial, which I'll link down below if you haven't seen. Um, because I wear glasses and it creates a shadow on my face, I do need to intensify whatever I'm doing on my eyes just so it pops more um, than if I weren't wearing glasses. So depending on whether you're wearing glasses or not, um, you can intensify it more or less. But it's the same idea, right? So to intensify it, you just add more shadow, blend out. Um, yeah, that's, that's really it. There's not much more to it. And then same exact thing on the other eye. Um, and so I know that for me, when I started playing with makeup and really experimenting, my eyes used to frustrate me the most. Like I could put on, putting on lipstick once I sort of got my lines down and all that good stuff happened, doesn't take too much work, right? And your foundation, as long as you have a nice brush, you buff it and it looks good. But for me, my eyes, like it became the bane of my existence. Like I think the reason I don't have that many eyeshadows was I was like, I am not good at eye makeup. I obviously still have a ways to go, right? Like we all do, we all practice and play. But um, I hated it. And I could never get the looks that I wanted and it always looked messy. And what I found is that it's just a matter of being patient with it. It's not always gonna work. And even to this day, not all the looks I wear work. There are some days I'm like, uh, I don't know. I didn't spend enough time blending or those colors aren't quite right. Um, but really, really, it's just a matter of being patient being kind with yourself and just blend, 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 blend. Um, that's all really the tip I can, the biggest tip I can give you and what's really made all the difference for me is that I just have to really sit and be patient with it and blend. So on days when I know I have to be rushing out the door and I don't have time to be patient and blend, I'll take a cream shadow, preferably something with a little bit of a shimmer. I'll put that right all over. I'll put a lot of mascara on. I'm out the door. Um, just because I don't have time to sit and be patient with my um, with my shadow, but um, the more you work at it, the faster you get, and um, you know it comes together. So that's our shadow. 
The, the other thing, the last thing actually we're going to do, sorry I keep looking here, I'm trying to make sure that it's nice and blended when I'm giving you this giant lecture about blending and my eyes are, are a big mess. So um, the last thing you're going to do is you are going to take, um, you, have, you have two choices. So you can either take like a black, a brown, sorry, colored pencil, like a like an eye coal pencil, and do your little line out. You just want, so with a makeup like this, I'll usually just want to, elongate my eye a little bit. So I'll either take a brown um, eye pencil and draw it on just a little bit and pull it out or I will take a, like an angled brush and I'll take some brown shadow and I'll and I'll just pull it out. So it's not a full-on flick, it's just trying to elongate that lower lash line. Um, I'll show you with the pencil on this eye and with the brush on this eye so you can see the two different ways to do it. Just gives you a nice little natural um, look. So Let's do that. Okay, so as promised, um, I'm gonna do the pencil on my my right, your left. It should be. Um, so I'm using uh, Coffee by Mac, which I like because it's just a nice, perfect uh, brownie color. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna find sort of your lower lash line, right? And you're gonna see if that lash line were to like extend out, where would that line be, right? So you're gonna find it just where it ends, and just very, very lightly, just draw that line out very softly. And then if you found that you've gone too dark um, or it's like too stark of a line, you can always take um, your flat shader brush where have I put mine? Your flat shader brush, the one that you used um, for that shadow, uh, the, the cranberry color shadow, and just blend it out a little bit so it's not quite so harsh. Blend it sort of up and out and it just, it lets your eye sort of seem a little bit wider and longer um, in a very subtle way. So that's with the pencil on this side. With the other, um, I'm going to show you on an angle brush. And the one I'm using is by uh, Laura Mercier. It's the brow definer brush, but I find that it works great um, for liner. So I'm just going to take the dark color in this palette. Any grayish brown color you have works fine just because you're going to be so subtle about it. And you just sort of uh, dip it in so there's just a little bit of product. Again, tapping off that excess and finding that line again um, where your lash line would be. And just press it on really gently. And again, if you wanted, if you found it to be too stark, um, just blend, blend, blend. And yeah. Uh, the last step, everything stopped falling. <laughs> the last step will be to apply some um, mascara. So the one I'm using is uh, the They're Real by Benefit, which let me know if you guys want a review on this guy. I've talked about it a couple of times, but never really done a review. Um, it is one of my absolute favorites, so I'd be happy to do a review for you guys. And so with mascara, what I like to do is I'll try to get in as close in like without <laughs> hitting my eyeball and just um, sort of with like a zigzaggy motion brushing it out so I don't get too many clumps and then I used to find that I had a lot of um, like fallout throughout the day sorry we'll look in here um, a lot of fallout throughout the day and I found that if I just give my top lashes a minute not a minute not a whole minute but like a little bit of time to dry before I head on to do the bottom ones it really um, helps enormously so um, another little tip for you guys. But yeah, you just want to put on your mascara and then move on to lips and then we're all done. Okay, so um, I put mascara on both eyes and then uh, my lipstick on. And the lipstick I have is um, Craving by MAC and then MAC Lip Gloss in Liqueur. Um, so yeah, I think that was super easy. I'm sure you guys can all do it. Let me know if you try it out. Let me know if you have different combinations because the idea is the same, right? You could put anything on your outer corner, any kind of color. Um, you could do any kind of combo. Like when I'm doing a light green and a dark green, I'll do the same thing. Um, purples, like the same kind of idea. You can mix and match and play up with it and it's easy and it's quick um, and you're out the door. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know if you have any other requests um, down in that comment section. Don't forget to thumbs up this video 
And let me leave you with the three things that I'm grateful for today. So the first is saving money on some new lipstick, not lipstick, makeup. <laughs> I actually bought blush. Um, so I went to the drugstore and I had accumulated um, the drugstore here. You can get like points and there are days when there's like double the points or 20 times the points. So I got um, a new Maybelline blush for half off. Um, which was exciting. It's always nice when you get new makeup and then you make up at a discount. What could be better than that? Really? <laughs> um, the second thing that I'm most grateful for is um, some sweet words of comfort when I needed them most. Um, we've talked about this before with people that sort of can tell how you're doing and what have you and it's just been even so nice with Instagram and YouTube and sort of posting pictures or videos when I haven't been my best and all the sweet words of comfort I've gotten from, from friends and subscribers and all you lovely ladies out there. Um, I really, really appreciate it. And then, excuse me, the third thing that I'm most grateful for today is just a really good early start to my day. I got a bunch of errands run this morning. You just, when you get up early on the weekend and you get a lot done, it just, it makes your day seem that much longer and you feel like you've accomplished something, so that's always nice. Uh, let me know what you guys are grateful for, and as always, let me leave you by reminding you that life is too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye, guys.